Americans in business, education, government science, and tech participated in the Army War College National Security Seminar. They joined senior military officers to learn from each other about how to use diplomatic, informational, military, and economic power to achieve the nation's goals. This is going to be probably the best uh, week of your life. It's been very valuable. Very impressed with the caliber of the students. They've provided tremendous information. I've appreciated uh, just hearing the, the multiple perspectives among uh, the students. I hope we made some small contribution. There is so much more I need to learn. There's so many more opinions I need to listen to and become aware of. And there's so much more I can do to educate myself and the people in my community. We need to look at things from a broader perspective. Uh, there were so many conversations that were just very illuminating, really very important. The, the relationships that I've been able to build in the last two days will last a lifetime. The reason I decided to come to this seminar was that I believe in being a lifelong learner. And that seems to be a theme that is echoed here at the uh, Army War College. Civilians can learn from the military and military can learn from the civilians. What I took away is really gratifying and that's these are people who are talented enough to be doing virtually anything. They have lots of choices in life but they've chosen to do what matters and what is difficult and what's important right now. Uh, it's an amazing opportunity and experience I'll never forget. This idea of having someone come to the table that has a different way of thinking, a different model of thinking, and then not just the knowledge, but kind of their understanding of it and how they apply it to solving problems was absolutely phenomenal. We had a speaker today who talked about the importance of operational leadership, uh, especially for this cohort of people who attend from the Army. So think of it like lieutenant colonels and colonels for the most part who really step into operational leadership roles when they leave the Army War College. And, the kinds of skills and kinds of traits that he talked about, it occurred to me are exactly the kinds of ones that the CEOs in our venture capital portfolio typically lean, need to learn as well. In other words, in order to get an early stage company off the ground, you really have to be good at tactics, otherwise you can't get out of the gate. And you have to be good at articulating a strategic vision, because if you can't, you are not going to get institutional venture capital. But the thing in the middle, about operational leadership, about being able to scale an organization and inculcate the set of values and some real talent management in a large organization, that's something that's hard for people to learn and it's nice to see an entire cohort of military officers learning them right here. I think it's the beginning where we build those relationships and then we're going to continue having those relationships and that dialogue in the future. And they are kind of our, our mouthpiece as they go back to their, their different states. They're going to be able to share what they learned as far as the Army War College and our students. I, I think it helped fill some, fill some gaps. Uh, the military civilian gap is, is something that's, that's predominant. There's areas that we are not aware of, so there's, there's things that they alluded to that kind of filled in some of our misconceptions, uh, provided in great information to us to help us understand the military in general. On the very first day, one of the students talked about bullets. And he said that every bullet that is shot by the military has the name of the citizens inscribed on it. And that made me think, it made me pause and think that I have a responsibility to know more about the military, to know more about how we make decisions, and to know how citizens can impact that. Having those discussions and being able to have hard conversations as far as disagreements, as far as what we would have thought, we came in with a preconceived notion, and being able to adjust those. those ideas and thought points. Especially with regard to DIME, uh, the, the diplomacy side of things, the information side of things, the military side of things, and, and, and the economic side of things, how they strategize into not just internally, but externally, how they use that model that they all interdepend on each other for it to be successful to protect the American uh, nation, the country. I think that's very, very informative for me. I think it was good for the students to also hear the civilian perspective on many of the issues that we discussed. I think I provided um, a historical perspective to some of the discussions. This is an area 
in terms of national security, I know nothing about. And it's always humbling uh, to, to be put into a situation where you know very little. And what I've learned about this structure of the instruments of power, diplomatic, informational, military, and, and economic, is that I didn't quite think of them as, as intertwined as they really are. And so that's given me a different perspective to think about kind of just the uh, news, what you hear in the news and what's going on in the world with, you know, Russia and China and seeing how these things are much more interconnected than I realized.